everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief on this Tuesday evening. We begin with a look at what we can expect weather-wise. Over the next few days, Chief Meteorologist Kerry Powery explains. The National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, has um, noted or designated an area of circulation over the southwest gulf as a potential tropical cyclone number one, meaning this system has a high potential of becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm um, very shortly. This will have no impact on the Cayman Islands. Uh, going through today, um, we still continue to experience some cloudiness, um, but that should be on the decrease through today and tomorrow. And uh, looking towards the weekend, there's a potential for a tropical wave coming in uh, start from about Thursday evening through Saturday morning and bringing us some, some showers, some that may potentially be heavy. The concern with this event towards the weekend is the higher than usual tides and some may be associated with uh, king tides, so there's the chance of some salt water intrusion in those areas that have historically um, experienced difficulties during king tides so adding that scenario plus the rainfall considerations that we're looking at through this weekend uh, put those areas at risk for for flooding or increased flooding and we invite you to join us for more on local weather in just a bit well, although it rained throughout the weekend, it was clear skies on Saturday for the most part for the first King's birthday parade and celebration. King Charles was crowned in Westminster Abbey back in May of 2023. Now, the annual parade includes the inspection of the guard by Her Excellency Governor Owen. Governor Owen inspected the various uniform groups, such as the Royal Kimonales Police Service, the Prison Service, Cadets, Coast Guard, Regiment, fire service as well, who all gave her the royal salute. Now, a major part of the King's birthday celebration is the presenting of awards to those who have made outstanding contributions to our islands and are actively involved in what they are nominated for. Well, from the parade to the garden party held at the governor's house later on Saturday, residents of all ages from across the Cayman Islands attended the event where there was entertainment, great food, and a fun time for all. During her remarks, Her Excellency Governor Owen said, working together will help in continuing to make our islands great. As you all know, um, for King Charles and other members of the royal family, Cayman Islands has a very, very special place in their hearts. This relationship that we share, this relationship where Cayman is an overseas territory of the United Kingdom, has been going on since uh, 1962. Uh, and that means that this year it is in fact 62 years old. Cayman is really appreciated and valued for lots of things really, but not least for the fact that we are upholders of uh, freedom and democracy in quite a contested world and I think we are also islands which are supportive of innovation, openness, trying to build economies that are both sustainable but accessible to everyone and I do take my hats off to Honourable Premier and indeed all members of our elected government and all of our parliamentarians for the way they work in such a committed manner in order to achieve that. And you can watch the entire King's Birthday Parade and Celebration on the Cayman Islands Government's YouTube channel. Now for a look at our weather locally tonight. We can expect cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers. Seas will be moderate with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet. The outlook over the next two days is for continued moderate southeasterly winds through Thursday. Higher than normal tides are expected from tomorrow, leading to possible saltwater intrusion in areas that have been historically been impacted by king tides, as meteorologist Powery mentioned moments ago. Now fresh to locally strong winds and rough seas, along with an increased chance for cloudiness and showers, Hours are expected from Friday morning 
as a trough is expected to linger in the Western Caribbean. A small craft warning will remain in effect from Friday morning. Please remember that you can check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for a look at what we can expect weather-wise locally. Before we go, if you're watching us on our YouTube channel, we ask you to just take a moment to like, share, and subscribe for all of your key and factual government news. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great night.